today. I've got a Baden's best bitter going on. Uh, I've got my hot liquor tuns boiling up my water here. I've got close on 70 litres of water in the boil. Uh, over here I've got my mash tun, which is empty. Uh, and I'm going to be adding the water and the grain to that in a minute. And up here I've got another hot liquor tun, which flows down to my 65 litre boiler. The three elements and the hop stopper inside. Okay, here's the grain. There's nearly nine kilos of Marisota Pale Ale malt. Uh, the grain temperature is 22.8 degrees C, and I need to add that to uh, 21.9 liters of water in the mash tun. I've got to get the temperature to 66 degrees C once it's all mixed together. So I use this calculator here, and that tells me that with the grain temperature. 23.0 I should be adding water in it's 73 degrees 73.7 degrees C so I'll add it, mix it all together now and see how we turn out so we've got 73.5 uh, temperature on the water in the hot liquor tun uh, I've got that set up to pour into the mash tun now. Uh, right, so we need 21, 21 odd litres, 21, 21.9 uh, litres, which should bring us on our gauge down to 14 and a half on here. Okay, so in it goes. The most important thing when you're doing this is to make sure that the tap's switched off. Hot liquor tun on the mash tun. And then it goes. I'm using a pipe because it reduces the uh, chance of losing temperature. It's splashing. Right, we've got the grain in the mash tun. And we've got to mix it round with a mash paddle, which is my spatula. And the most important thing is to make sure it's all mixed in real well. Because what can happen is you get dry spots and you don't extract all the sugars from the grain. So we fix up these dough balls and just smash them up against the side. Breaks them up, which is the water in. You should have a good even mash then. And what I'm aiming for, hopefully the calculations are correct, I should get a final temperature of 66 degrees. Which is what that means is we get the best extraction rate and the best fermentable sugars out of the grain. Too high a temperature will have unfermentable sugars and the beer will be too sweet and won't be strong enough. This takes a bit of sorting out, but once it's done, you can leave it. This mash tun is basically a cool box. I put a tap on and it's got a manifold in the bottom. It's a large one. So as I say, there's 21 litres of water and 9 kilos of grain in here. Still a few dough balls coming up. Porridge now. Now, the important bit is to check the temperature. 
Noble being good. Sixty-six point four. I'll live with that. Okay. And the lid goes on. And I set the timer. Ticked away, it's time to start sparging. Okay. 